So let's get this straight, okay? Laser tag and paintballs are alike, but I like to think of laser tag as the more cleaner version. So, um, no debates in the comments. So I applied for the laser tag activity in some kind of center. Because I am a nerd. Oh, wait. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. I wanted to add only around 10 people can play, so there was a lucky draw. And I got the ticket. Along with a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Just kidding. There were nice people. And we took the, uh, um, uh, Mm, not the subway. The not the subway either. Yes, the subway. Yes, the subway. The place was kind of small, even with only twelve people. Get a good look. There were two things inside: the desk and the door, which was like. When I entered the room, I was like, hmm. But when I went into the arena, I was like. But before we start, let me give you an idea of how it was like. So there were two teams, red and green. Now that's out of the way. Back to the story. In round one, it was like a free-for-all, because the dude that led us was like, huh, I don't see anything wrong with it. Boy, was he wrong. There was running, unarmed combat, armed combat, and terrible jokes. Trigger-happy people, mainly me. And when I cornered, he was like, I'm going to play baseball right now. There was also point blank shooting, which was not. I just saw this thing. What the heck, man, this ain't Jedi training. Besides that, it was pretty fun. So the red team were camping right about here. There was these things called forts. There were also beacons that you can shoot through them to get ridiculous buffs. So we took our gear. Bravo 6, going dark. Regular Eclipse has evolved. So my team, aka the green team, moved out. The red ones just camped. Now you might not know, but I am very trigger happy. No matter who you are, I will open fire when I see you. Lasers are red, you will feel blue. I have a gun, and I shall screw you. We stopped for a moment to make a plan. We had these people. So we decided to do this. You'll understand later. If you don't understand what I'm trying to do, I'm taking advantage of camping in an area. There are certain choke points here. And these are the choke points. Get a good look of them. <sighs> but the advantages didn't stop there. You see, I got a rapid fire boost from a beacon I found earlier. Let's me fire at two times speed and helps me recover quicker after being shot. Sarah was like, spray fire. So I single-handedly suppressed all fire while taking nothing in return and providing cover fire. But the reds had chokes point too, and it wasn't long before uh, my rapid fire ran out. If it did, I would be in big trouble. So not long after, from my point of view, it was basically like this. The gun, and uh, yes, and Felicia took out the guy. Let's um, name him uh, Bob. And meanwhile, Matt is busy trying to storm the base, as you see here. Uh, we got most of them, but one was missing. Mm, we searched for him, but we didn't find him. Until he came back with reinforcements. Uh, gotta run, gotta hide, gotta run, gotta hide. Might not be my most glorious time, but still no honor lost, <laughs> right? And we came up with a plan, which is to rush them. Might not be that good of a plan. Damn, I did it. You call it a plan. No, you stupid. You see, calling it plan sounds way cooler, and also it gets way more views. It's not about the ending, it's about the goddamn plan! Uh, just don't do this. Please don't do that. 
So we made a plan. But then, time out. And my score was pretty good. Something else, I don't know. Trigger happy, the eclipse. Actually, I don't know if that's good or not. The trigger happy one, I mean. What the heck is, does trigger happy mean? Happy mean. Boop. Trigger happy, irresponsible in the use of firearms. Uh, okay, I get the point. Is trigger happy good by any fact? Um, a bunch of nonsense, which basically means bad. Huh, I guess I'm this guy now. So they found out what we're up to and made rules. So, many rules later. Back in the game. The pew pew has started again. So it was pretty much the same. But this time, I'm a goddamn lone wolf. Insert cool music here. So there were sometimes holes in the walls that you can shoot through. So I was looking through one of them on the other side of the map. And I saw this. So I was basically God Terminator. And I was just going to go pew pew on them. Challenge complete. Sniper do. Snipe a red boy from very far away. The dude was like, huh? After this, I met up with my teammates. You know, the ones. They were having trouble because apparently they shot like blindfolded stormtroopers. We were grouped on the far side of the map. Nobody really had a plan, so we decided to rush them as well. Because it was like before, instead of plan, it was plain desperate. So we were behind this wall like the last time, but some guys decided to come back and shoot us. But when I fired back, they gone. Well, but when they came back again, uh, Fool me once, shame on ye. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times and I'll screw your family. They, um, long story short, they didn't get past two. My man's pew pew win. Normally, that would have been the end of that. But I felt reckless that day, so I single-handedly stormed the base. Kind of like this. You go pew pew on beacon, then you go pew pew on other things. So I managed to snipe the beacon and got, guess what, absorption. See, absorption, good stuff. Well, in that case, we all rule, all reds drool. Gotta make the most of it, make the most of it. In the end, I got the highest points, because um, nothing gets you more points than a shootout. And that concludes my laser tag experience. And see ya. Um, so this is the end card and you can click away now. Also, I can't get the sick track up. So um, uh, you gotta, uh, maybe next time I will. Bye.